How are you doing Fatima Hibban? So inshallah today we are going to start things what we have to do after Salah. We have finished Salah, we have finished the obligatory acts of Salah, we have finished the recommended acts of the Salah and now after finishing the Salah what we have to do. But before we can start, you know why it is important? Why? I have seen some people or some kids when they will finish their salah immediately they will run away have you seen those people yeah this is a time when you can ask Allah for whatever you want you know many times if Abba will ask you to clean the house and after cleaning the house you will say Abba give us the gift right because you have done your hard work and now you are asking your gift you deserve that gift you have done the hard work you have done you have prayed the salah and now it's your turn to ask Allah whatever you want to ask and then there are kids and people who just run away without asking right so it's important for us to ask Allah after praying after giving that time that oh Allah we pray now give us our gift this is all recommended is that clear if, even if you won't ask you won't get a sin but we should definitely ask because we get more reward, right? Is there an emergency, Jessica Chogia? In English, in English. Is there an emergency? If there is an emergency, then it's okay. Just pray Salah and leave. But this should be the routine after Salah. That you should sit in a calm, composed, cool fashion. And then you should ask these dua. Ideally, all of this. If you don't have time, then few. Uh, but this should be our routine. Is that clear, Fatima okay. Nibba? Yeah. Okay, let's just start. Um, so first, what is the routine for actions after Salah? The first thing is you have to say Astaghfirullah thrice. Immediately as you finish your Salah, Assalamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullah, Assalamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullah, Astaghfirullah, 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 thrice. How many? Three times only. Yes. And what does Astaghfirullah mean? Astaghfirullah, Allah forgive me. Good job. You are seeking forgiveness of Allah. Okay? We are asking Allah to forgive you. Why we are asking Allah to forgive us? Why? Because if we did any bad deeds, Allah could forgive us. Yes. Did we? Do we do any bad deeds uh, in our day? A lot. A lot, right? So that's why it's important for us to keep asking forgiveness of Allah. So after praying Salah, it is Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad SAW to pray Astaghfirullah we'll thrice to forgive our bad deeds. Only we'll that for deeds. Well, you can, you have to, obviously, you are following the way, but Hibban, whenever you follow the way of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah will give you a good, it's Allah will give you a good deed, yes. So if you want to be like Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if you want to act like Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you will get a good deed. How cool is that? Um, How cool is that? How cool is that? Good. Good, huh? Yes. Whenever we go to school, first we read a step for Allah and we read all of them. You have to read a structure of We do all of those things. Good job, mashallah. And you'll come to all of those. Okay, second is saying dua. After saying a structure of thrice, what do you have to do, Fatma Read dua. Okay, what are those duas which are which we have to read after salah? There are few duas. Um, we'll cover few, but let's start with this. First dua, after saying a structure of thrice, is read with me. Allahumma. Allahumma. Anta salam. وَمِنْكَ السَّلَامِ تَبَارَكْتَ يَا ذَا الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ I know this. No, wait, 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 wait. The translation is Allahumma anta salam O Allah, you are peace. وَمِنْكَ السَّلَامِ And peace comes from you. تَبَارَكْتَ O Allah, you are blessed. Ya al-Jalali wal-Ikram. 
O owner of majesty and honor. I didn't write that in the translation of Tabarak that I had to write. O owner of majesty and honor. Ya Zul Jalali, wal ikram. Is it clear? Okay. Alhamdulillah. Wait, can you read this again, Hibban? Allahumma anta salamu wa minka salamu tabarak ta ya al jalali wal ikram. Good job. Fatma, can you read translation? Uh, Allah, you are peace and peace comes from you, O owner of majesty and honor. Tabarak ta? Ya al jalali. You are blessed. Okay. That's good, mashallah. Okay, now let's see the second dua. After reading this, do you all, you both have memorized the dua, right? Yeah. So all the kids who are watching this video right now, make sure you memorize this dua. Either ask your parents to t give you this dua on a piece of paper or write this down and memorize this dua. And inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you inshallah. Okay, let's, let's start the second one. Um, what's the second dua? This is important for all of you to take a note. First is La ilaha illallah. Say it. La ilaha illallah. Wahdahu la sharika la. Wahdahu la sharika la. Lahu al mulku. Lahu al mulku. Wa lahu al hamdu. Wa lahu al hamdu. Wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir. Wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir. Allahumma. Allahumma. La mani'a. La mani'a. Uh-uh. Allahumma. Allahumma. La mani'a. La mani'a. Lima a'qayta. Lima a'qayta. ولا معطية ولا معطية لما منعت لما منعت ولا ينفع ولا ينفع ذا الجد ذا الجد منك الجد منك الجد. What's the meaning of this? Now please be quiet. I'll read the translation for you. لا إله إلا الله. There is no one worthy of worship except Allah. وحده لا شريك له. Alone, he's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is alone with no partner or no associate. Lahul mulku, the dominion, he's the owner. Walahul hamdu, and for him is all the praises. Wahua ala kulli shay'in qadir, and he's able to do everything. That's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, this is important, Fatma. I will ask you the true meaning of this. Then, Allah, then we have to ask, Allahumma la mani alima a'taita. O oh Allah, no one can withhold, no one can stop what you have given or what you want to give. And no one can give what you have stopped or withhold. What does it mean? Uh, uh, Allah, we're telling that Allah has everything, He could do everything. And what else? And He's the most strong, He's the leader of the. He could do everything. Good job. And it also means this particular phrase. Iban, look at this. We are saying, Allah, if you want to give me something and it's the entire world want to stop, I'll get that thing because you want to give me that. And if everyone wants to give me something and Allah wants to stop, no one can give me that. Do you know the meaning of this Iban now? Oh, yes. If Abba wants to give you $100, if Mama wants to give you $100, if Dada wants to give you $100, if entire world want to give Hibban $100, but if Allah doesn't want Hibban to have even one single penny, will you get a single penny or $100? No. Why? Because Allah is the one who controls uh, uh, uh. everything. Everything. This is what we are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah, you are the one who controls everything. No one else. Is that clear, Hibban? Okay. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to give you $100, Hibban, mm. but your father doesn't want to give you, your mother doesn't want to give you, wherever you are working as an employee, working job, they don't want to give you, but Allah wants to give you, will you get $100? Yes. Yes. Why? Because Allah could Because Allah give wants to give you. Is that clear? Yes. Good job, Ashura. That's the idea that Allah, if you want to give me something, no one can stop. And if you want to stop something from me, no one can give me because you have the power. Subhanallah. So beautiful, right? Uh, but could yes. I memorize that? Du could, we, could we do that du without looking? Later, I'll ask you, inshallah. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay, inshallah. Uh, so here we will uh, actually the final translation is: Wala yanfaruz al jaddi min kaljad, 
and no one can benefit anyone except you. If you want, you can benefit, but no one else can benefit. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. Next time, inshallah, we are going to continue uh, these things. I will proceed three qul and tasbih after salah, inshallah. Okay. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Amen.